Hi there, it's me, Dalton, you know, from school. When I'm not busy making cooking videos, I like to sit down and enjoy a good tabletop role-playing game. Specifically, my game of choice for the past eight or nine years has been the world's greatest role-playing game, 3.5 edition and then later 5th edition. While I do enjoy the setting and the mechanics of the game, there is a tendency for a campaign to last for months and even years, leaving no time to play something else. And as you can see from my shelf, I have a lot of tabletop games that I'm probably never going to play. I have recently started a campaign in Dungeon Crawl Classics, which I'm in love with, by the way. However, there are a lot of books that offer very different, much shorter games. Beer and pretzels games, as they're known. Games you can bust out when the GM needs a break or doesn't have anything prepared. One such beer and pretzels game I recently picked up is called Orc the Role-Playing Game. Full disclosure, I have not yet played a session of Orc, but I have read through the book a few times. Orc sells itself as a fairly easy game to get into. Rather than go through pages upon pages of races and classes and backgrounds, you have one choice, and you can probably guess, it's Orc. Character creation is pretty simple. All you do is just assign your stat points, your skill points, your hit points, and then pick a cheat and equipment. Your core stats are Meat, Bones, Twitch, and Mojo. Or for you D20 savvy folks, Strength, Constitution, Dexterity, and then all of your mental stats wrapped up into one. Each stat is connected to three different skills, giving a total of 12. Your stats determine what type of dice you roll, ranging from a d4 to a d12, and your skill determines how many dice you roll. So for example, if your meat stat is at a d10 and your fight skill is at a 3, you would roll a 3d10 whenever you make a fight roll. Unlike the world's greatest role-playing game, all roles are opposed. There's no set difficulty classes or DCs. You roll, the referee rolls, higher roll determines success. As one would expect, combat is a very big part of the orc RPG, and it couldn't be simpler to do. If the attacker's roll is higher, he subtracts the defender's roll as well as any armor rating, and that determines the damage he's done. There's a little bit more to combat than that, but it's up to roleplay and the referee's discretion. One thing that seems to be a little cumbersome about the orc RPG is the amount of skills. The game sells itself as an easy-to-learn, no-stress RPG, but 12 skills seems to be a bit much, and it easily could have been brought down to 8 or 9. However, the book highly recommends that you homebrew your rules, so it's not really worth complaining about. In that same vein, the monster stat blocks could have been simplified. I don't think that each skill needs to be listed for each monster. Speaking of monsters, easily the funniest thing about this book are the monster stat blocks. Rather than stick to conventions and list out dwarves, halflings, humans, elves, they call them what a stupid orc would probably call them. Squishy men, sour men, stunty men, and possibly my favorite, Flivwifrin. Flivwifrin? Flivwifrin. The Flivwifrin are the elf equivalent of this game, and the description it has written for it makes me laugh every time I read it. Some choice excerpts include, A handful of obsessive Flivwithrin scholars have discovered there are secret letters beyond Z that exist in another primeval forbidden alphabet created countless millennia ago. Being poor drinkers, it's only a matter of time before they're trying to create the longest word without any vowels. Anyhow, I don't want to talk too much about the game because if I do, I'll just read the whole book verbatim to you. Having read through the book but not yet played it, I would still recommend Orc the role-playing game. As I record this, it looks like you can find the first and second edition pretty easily on eBay or Amazon or on Green Ronin Publishing's website. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, let me know. I've been considering showcasing more RPG books that I have, and if there's interest in it, then I'll try to make more. That's about it. Goodbye.